All right, guys. It's been a very, very tough fishing trip today. I'm gonna end my fishing trip with a quick session with the Euro Tackle B Vibe. I threw so much other stuff today. I caught some fish, but there's a lot of nips, soft bites, and using these small finesse lures right here, the B Vibe is two inch and so thin, okay? Uh, very small, so those small little fish who are just nipping very softly, they're gonna suck this whole thing in the mouth. Uh, you guys could choose the 132nd ounce or uh, 116th ounce. Their tungsten soft lock jig and go to town slay. Let's try this area. I was catching a lot of fish earlier. I think I caught mo most of the crappies, but there's been a lot of um, bluegills here. Let's see if we pull one up very quick. No, I'm using Cast King Zephyr, BFS Reel, and a rod, okay? Uh, I'm using Sunline, their natural monofilament. This is true four pound test line. So it's thinner than your typical, let's say, suffix four pound test line. It's gonna allow the Lord to sink a lot quicker, closer to the bottom where most of the fish are. We know there's a lot of fish here. They just don't want to bite. Okay, so we got to downsize and hopefully we'll slay them all. Jimbo can promise you guys that the Euro Tackle B Vibe will catch all the fish, okay? So I'm gonna cast it in to where I believe the fish are at. And just slow roll it. Oh, there, there's a tick right there. Did you guys just saw that? This is what spring fishing is all about. Throwing the smallest, lightest lure out there. I mean, I could probably throw the 132nd ounce so it actually drops a little slower. And I'll just catch so much fish. This is a, oh, there we go. This is the best thing that's ever made. Euro tackle. Oh man, look at that. Spring bluegills are freaking huge, behemoth. Look at that. I, 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 yeah. Got my pants all wet, but this is it. The secret sauce. All right. The wind is blowing that way, so let's see if there's any fish hiding right by that catamaran. I had a few crappies there earlier. Oh, got something. Oh, this is nice. Dude, this is nice. Oh, yes, yes. Dude, that bass was hiding right there. I'm telling you, man, when you go ultra finesse like this, you always catch the fish. Like, I've seriously had the toughest, toughest day ever. And once I sw swap to this guy here, it is magic. Ben, thank you for making Euro Tackle and, <laughs> and bringing all these awesome stuff to the US. Man, it slays, slays, slays. And the wind is blowing so quick too. So let me get this back in the water and let's keep fishing. Nope. Too much of those green algae stuff. Got one. Oh yeah, spring bluegills. Let's go. These guys are likely uh, hiding during that crazy low pressure system that came by yesterday. All the big fish went out to feed and now here's their opportunity to eat. <laughs> Got a crappy. That's what I'm talking about. These crappy are zooming in and out. The shallows, pre-spawning. Okay, so they like these small little bait fish, small little soft plastics. Oh, looks like it's time to strip this down just a little bit. Been uh, catching a lot with this uh, the other day. All you do is shorten it, re-rig it, and you should be good to go. Hopefully, now that I shorten it a little bit more. It's gonna be more finesse than ever. And hopefully I could hook them up a little bit easier. But look at this, there's a lot of fish out here. So earlier I fished mainly the banks and that's where all the fish are at. So I'm gonna try to fish a little bit more out, see if the fish are out here. Oh, there's, there he goes. Like I mentioned earlier, the B vibe is freaking amazing. Like, I just don't know why, uh, I just don't know why uh, <laughs> it just works so well. It's like the most magical lure. Like this is gonna be cast after cast fun. Fish. Dude, this little point right there. Shallow end. Oh, this one's a bass. Look at that. Thank you, bass. Uh, the wind picked up and it uh, looks like it's time to feed, boys and girls. But it's just small little dinkies. 
All right, off you go. Oh, got him, got him, got him. He was hiding in there. I'm telling you, man, it only wanted this lure today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's fish already? Jeez. This time is crappy. <laughs> sure. Oh, he just sling my lure out. Interesting. He snapped it. Well, time to put another one on. Oh, snap. It just fell right back here. That's nice. Uh, yep. Got a fish right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. The springtime is all about the micro micro lures. Super small. I love it. Had to leave the magical cove. That dude was like, say something for me. Don't know was he joking or not, but you know, just in case, you know, since it is in front of his house, I might as well move on. I do have a kayak, so I get to go all over the place. Right? So sharing is caring. He did catch a fish, so that's cool. Okay, guys. No need to go all crazy. I mean, you should. Come on, come to Papa. All the small fish, all the big fish, they like, they like the Euro tackle. Oh yeah. Oh man, he deep throat that thing. Take a look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, dude, he just took it right when I landed. Big Mondo Bluegill, that's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, looks pretty, yeah? All right, let's see if there's uh, any more bluegills stacked up here. All right, guys, this is the end of the day. Can't believe uh, today was so tough. I tried so many lures, fished so many uh, sessions try and make uh, different episodes but didn't really have that much luck but the best luck was really this here the Euro Tackle b vibe the two inch swim bait it did so well on this 1 16th ounce jig head but I think I could probably do a little bit better throwing a 1 32nd ounce jig head instead but uh time on a crunch stuck around the lake one time because I was like all right I gotta get home gotta do daddy duty but I just wasn't giving up because you know this is my first fishing trip of the season on the kayak and uh, I gotta make the best of it so I was like Wifey, I gotta huh, slay it one time around the lake. And that's what I did. I got, got most of my fish on that one cove where the old man was at. And um, yeah, it's all due to this guy here. So if you guys are uh, fishing spring, make sure you guys bring an Ultralight setup, four pound test line, have at least a 16th ounce or a 32nd ounce jig head. If you guys are fishing mostly shallow water, potentially you may need an eighth, depending, again, depending really how deep your water is. But you guys are likely gonna find the fish in those shallow waters, especially some of these windblown cove or some of the coves that are just still, okay? If you guys are having a tough time because there's no bites due to a uh, pressure system, also bring a float and float your lure near structure and likely you'll catch some fish. Guys, I thank you for watching. The fish don't wait. Get out there. Even on windy, crazy days like these, make sure you guys do that cast and catch some fish. Oh, 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 never mind. <laughs>